Hi, I'm Deborah Savager with Legal Office Guru. And in today's live stream, we're going to go into Microsoft Word and demonstrate how to actually apply styles to your text. Most people only know one way, but there are others that can give you access. I've got to turn off my video that can give you access to the rest of the over 200 built-in styles in Word. If we've not met, I teach lawyers and other legal professionals how to use Microsoft Office better. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen right now, and while I'm uh, switching over to that, let me know in the, live, in the comments below whether you're watching this live uh, or where you're watching from and whether you've seen the first two videos in this series. I also want to thank you guys for the uh, the comments that you all left on the uh, on the email that I sent yesterday so to those of you who were on my on my list. Uh, I think everyone uh, in other climates enjoyed the fact that I was stopped cold by one inch of snow. Let's see, share screen. Go over here. And hopefully you can see that. All right, looks like we're looks like we're live now. Okay, most of you have probably already seen by now on the home tab, there's this quick styles area that's over here on the right. And you notice I'm gonna put my cursor down here, you notice as I hover my mouse over a particular style, the text in the document changes. Don't panic, <laughs> that's just a preview. It only actually applies the style when you click on that style in the quick styles area. So for example, if I wanted to make this one heading three, I just hover over it to, to preview it and then click on it to actually apply it. Now, the quick styles area only has a subset of all of these styles that are available in Microsoft Word. But there are over 200 styles that you can actually access. So if you don't see the particular style that you want in this quick styles area, then go back over here and click this more button. This is the downward facing arrow that's got a line over it over here on the end. And choose apply styles or you can uh, do control shift S uh, if you haven't already written it, overwritten it as unfortunately I have, but that, that is a, uh, that's a shortcut key that you can use for that. But I'm gonna click on apply styles and it gives me a little styles, apply styles dialog box, and I can actually type in the, lit, the, the style that I want if, if I know what it is. Let's see. Uh, and because I have this little box checked here, it will attempt to guess. It'll kind of do the autocomplete thing and attempt to guess what style I'm actually looking for there. Uh, let, me, let me do quote. And then I can hit apply and that style is applied. So that's method number two for applying a style to your text. Another method is to bring up the styles pane on the right by clicking this little launcher arrow over on the side. You can also do, as you can see here, Alt, Control, Shift, S. But bringing that up brings up a styles pane up over here on the right. Now this by default is going to be a recommended list from Microsoft. It's going to be the recommended styles in the recommended order, which may or may not show you the style that you're actually looking for. So if you don't see the style that you're looking for on this list, you can go down here to options and you can resort and refilter this. Now this is 
I changed mine earlier, but this is generally how it is in the beginning, by default. His, uh, rec select styles to show is recommended, and select how list is sorted is as recommended. So what you can do here is this is the filter. You can do it. I would recommend just doing all styles. That may overwhelm you, but that'll at least give you a complete list. But if you just want to see the styles that are active in your current document, you can just select this in current document. If you want to see the styles that are active all across your current documents, the ones that you all, all have open, you can do select in use. I'm going to click all styles here. And then for the sorting, you can do it alphabetical, which to me is the easiest. Uh, as recommended, as I told you, is the Microsoft default. And then these others, if you're really familiar with, with styles and, and how they're built, you may find these useful. Uh, this one font is actually filtering it or sorting it rather by the font that the style is actually based on. This is uh, based is based on the style that it the style that it's actually based on, excuse me. And these are by the style types. But I'm going to click alphabetical here. Now in the middle section, the select formatting to show as styles. If you've got some directly formatted text in your document that hasn't actually had a style applied to it, in other words, you haven't, you've selected some, some formatting options for it, but you haven't configured that as a style you can elect to show those in this list as well. So anything where you've done some paragraph level formatting, some font formatting, or some bullet numbering formatting, you can elect to select those, excuse me, select those so that they will show up in the styles pane. But whatever you choose up here, oh, one more thing. I always like to keep this checked, the show next heading when previous level is used. That way, if you've selected heading one for some text in your document, you will see heading two in the quick styles area, so you can always build down the hierarchy in your list. But regardless of what you choose up in the style panes options, if you want your choices to stick, if you want to be able to see them next time without having to go through this exercise every single time, Click on this radio button here, New Documents Based on this Template, and click OK. So now the Styles pane has all of the styles. And you can actually, if you click this button down here, this radio, excuse me, this checkbox, it actually sort of gives you a little bit of a preview. Yeah, sorry, I just lost my mouse there for a second. It'll actually give you a little bit of a preview here. You don't know what one know about me. It'll actually give you a little bit of a preview here of what the actual style looks like, and if you hover over it, it will give you some information about it. If you want to be able to change that, let me get one of these that's actually hmm, heading one, for example. If you want to actually be able to modify that, you can click on that downward facing area and choose modify. We'll get into the modification thing later in a, in a, in a later session. But just so you know, you can modify these from here. You can also modify them from here, from the Quick Styles area, if it happens to show up in that area. Now, if you want to clear a particular selection's formatting, there's a couple of different ways to do that. I'm going to select this text. I'm just curious if it would show up in the um, 
show up in the contextual menu, but it does not. I'm going to select this text, and there's a couple of different ways you can just clear the formatting altogether. It's sort of the nuclear option. You can actually clear out the formatting and start over. I'm going to click on the More button again, and here is Clear Formatting. You can also look for the eraser icon up here in the Home tab. It's in the middle, toward the end of the font section, uh, just next to the Paragraph section of the Home tab. That will also clear all formatting out. So that is the end of the prepared presentation I had. I want to jump in and see if you had any comments uh, for me or if you have any questions. If you do, please leave them. I know a lot of you are going to be viewing this in a replay. Uh, please view those, oh, excuse me, a little early. I haven't had all my coffee yet. Please leave those in the comments section and let me know what questions you have about styles, maybe something that you want to cover in a, in a future session. We are going to have three more sessions of this in styles. So um, go ahead and put your comments in quickly. I did see some comments uh, from the earlier one. I had one person who said she just really hated, or he really hated styles, just couldn't figure out why there were so many options. And I, I hope this, this series is going to help give you a little bit more of a comfort level with this. But we're coming up, up on the 13 minutes here. So do leave your comments in the comment section. As I mentioned, I am going to be cross-posting this to YouTube, and they're also on YouTube and Facebook are going to be captioned. So be looking for that if you want to do some, some stealth viewing or some silent viewing. Uh, be sure to look for that. So I've enjoyed being with you today. I hope that uh, this has given you a little bit of um, a little bit more of a comfort level with styles and starting to apply these, we've kind of moved from theory to practice. Uh, in the last two, we look, talked about cascading styles and styles based on, and now we're moving into how you actually use them. So as I said, do let me know in the comments below what sorts of uh, questions you have about styles and what sorts of things you want me to be sure to cover. So uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week, and uh, have a good day.